right what's going on everybody welcome back my name is alex and today we're going to be going over all the factions inside of gotham knights and we're going to be going over all of their weaknesses now i know a lot of people don't really pay attention to the actual elemental effects in the game they just kind of use the ones that look cool but when you actually use the weaknesses you know when you're fighting certain enemies in the game it makes a lot of those fights like 10 times easier even if you're under geared or under leveled and on the flip side if you're using the element that the enemy is resistant to then you're going to make the fight take twice as long and also if you're using something that the enemy is resistant to it's going to take way longer to actually apply that status and if you use something that they're weak to you're going to apply that status effect way quicker now the new heroic assault mode is going to be coming out in less than a week now and hopefully that mode will have some type of difficulty scaling with the four players and if the mode is difficult or challenging you know in any type of way you're going to want to be the person using the right elements so this should be a short one let's get into it so first up on the list is going to be the freaks who are weak to toxic damage and they are resistant to fire damage so if you're using fire damage trying to fight these guys you're going to be doing less damage your fight's going to be taking longer so toxic is the way to go and if you don't know what toxic actually does it decreases the target's physical resistance and their damage so once they get inflicted by toxic they're going to be taking more damage and they're also going to be taking damage over time so if you're fighting these guys just make sure that you're using toxic it makes it 10 times easier i promise now next up we have the regulators who come in two different variations we have the regular variation that is weak to concussive damage and they are resistant to electric damage and then we have the mr freeze version who are weak to fire damage and they are resistant to ice damage now when you affect the enemy with the fire damage aka incendiary what you're going to be doing is setting them on fire they're going to be taking damage over time and they can't actually attack you back while they're burning and concussive damage pretty much does the same thing minus the uh, damage over time they just kind of stand there there's like stars swirling around their head and you get free reign to just you know beat them up use your big moves use your high damage and attacks or whatever now the regulators aren't too bad of enemy type to face in the game but they do have the drone masters which are the most annoying enemies in the game now it doesn't matter if you're fighting the normal ones or the Mr. Freeze versions. If you can get these guys under a stun lock before they can even put a drone out, you can just keep them, you know, on the ground. You can keep them stunned. You can keep them on fire. So attack the drone masters, get them under a status effect, ASAP. They won't even get a chance to throw their drones up in the air. It makes fighting these guys 10 times easier. Next up, we have the mob enemy type. Now, these guys are resistant to concussive damage. So if you're trying to, you know, stun them, it ain't going to work. It's going to take forever and they're weak to electric damage. So if you can get these guys electrified, it's going to help you out a whole lot. And the guys who kind of stand in the back, they kind of shoot their grenade launchers. If you can electrify them, it kind of jams their weapons. They can't fire for a little bit as long as they're affected. So that gives you time to either close the distance and take them out or just to knock them out the fight for a little bit to give yourself a breather. Now, the fact that these guys are weak to electric is actually amazing because they have a lot of, you know, melee fighters. And if you don't know what the electric does when it activates, there is an AOE explosion. And if there's a lot of enemies grouped up, they all get hit. So it's pretty good against multiple enemies and it's especially good against these guys. Now, moving on to the quarter owls. I know a lot of people have some issues with these guys, specifically the little guys that jump around a lot. But this faction is ridiculously easy once you start using the right element, which is ice. They are super weak to ice. It freezes them in place for a long time and they are resistant to toxic damage. So make sure if you're fighting these guys to not use anything poison. Now, if you don't know what the ice damage does, AKA cryogenic damage, whenever you freeze something, it pretty much stays frozen for a long time until you break the ice. And once you break the ice, it does a lot of damage and it's also like a little AOE explosion. So really really strong even when you're not fighting court of owls now of course when you're fighting the little guys who jump around a lot like always you hold down your heavy attack or you use an aoe get those guys frozen get them out to fight super quick and with the big guys specifically with the shields like the uh, the talons even if they have up their shields, you can still aim at their heads get the headshot and it still inflicts ice damage on them so if you've not been using ice to fight these guys, give it a try. It's going to make everything completely different. It's going to make it way easier. Give it a shot. Now, next up, we got the League of Shadows, who are probably the most annoying group in the game, especially because you can't grab these guys. They teleport all over the place. It's hard to get like solid damage on them unless you use their weakness, which is fire. You set these guys on fire. They can't teleport. They kind of stand there and let you beat up on them for a little bit. 
and they're also resistant to toxic so don't use toxic fighting these guys it'll take forever it won't really do any damage they're super resistant to it so i also will say even though fire is their weakness if there's a lot of these guys on the screen at the same time sometimes you can have up to four to five of these guys teleporting all over the place they're still going to be super annoying even if you set them on fire so just be careful they can still kill you they're still the most annoying enemy type in the game but when you set them on fire it's like way easier and i know it's technically not a part of the league of shadows but you always fight these guys at the same time the man bat is also really weak to fire it makes him super easy to kill like he just kind of stands there he's on fire getting roasted so whenever you're fighting the man bat and the league of shadows spawn we know they're trying to help him out you already got your fire so you should be good to go so last but not least we're going to talk about the bosses in the game so spoiler warning if you haven't played this far if you haven't beat the game yet if you don't know which bosses are in the game and if you don't want to get spoiled on the final boss so for the people who don't want to get spoiled i shall catch you guys next time appreciate you watching the video but for everybody else let's get into the boss damage now it is pretty important to know which elements to use on bosses because some bosses are actually immune to certain types of damage so let's start off with Harley Quinn. Her weakness is concussive damage and she is resistant to toxic and fire. So don't use those elements against her, but at least she's not immune against them. You can still use them. They just won't do a whole lot of damage. If you're fighting Harley Quinn, just make sure that you're using concussive damage. Next up, we have Mr. Freeze, who is of course weak to fire damage and he's also resistant to concussive damage, but he's immune to toxic and freeze so you can't actually afflict him with those status effects because you know it just won't do anything don't waste your time don't use anything except for fire and crit damage on this guy next up we have clayface who is also weak to fire but he's also immune to ice concussive and electric damage so don't use any of those when you're fighting him just like mr freeze use crit damage or fire now once again super spoiler for the last two fights in the game you're going to be fighting bruce wayne and talia al ghul these guys don't have any weaknesses it doesn't matter what you use and you can actually afflict them with you know toxic and fire and stuff like that but crit is king in this fight and also if you're having trouble with this fight if you don't know what to do you can't use any of your momentum abilities you wonder why everything's getting drained all you have to do is go step inside of the lazarus pit try to stay inside the pit as much as possible it's going to recharge your momentum meter you're going to be able to actually spam your abilities if you can stay in there enough and it makes this part of the game way easier and that's all i got for you guys today man i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope i helped somebody out with this one if you enjoyed please leave a like comment subscribe all that shenanigans down below and uh shall catch you guys next time Peace.